Hey guys, what's up? So before you watch this, make sure you watch the video I made on my statin. This is part two uh, about a study that was done to see what type of training lowers my statin the most. I mean, in, you know, brief introduction, my statin is a protein gene that's in mammals, humans, whatever. The, it's actually the opposite of uh, um, anabolic hormone. It's not a hormone, it's a gene. The more the more my statin you have, the less muscle you can put on, no matter how hard you train and diet. And the less my statin you have, or if it's deficient or whatever, uh, the more muscle mass you can put on sometimes to up to ridiculous amounts of muscle mass even minus exercise training uh, and here's some pictures uh, one two three four the, you have the baby you have the the bull you have the dog and you have the rats that they experimented on um, that all have my stand deficient genes uh, pretty much it's uh, skipping that anyway so the study was done by Baylor University if I'm correct and they, had, they trained two groups of people on the leg exercise, I think it was leg press, leg extensions. The group that did six, uh, they did the same sets, same number of exercises, the only difference was the amount of weight they used and the time on the tension. One group only did about six reps to failure, really heavy weight. The other group did 20 reps to failure, right? Same amount of sets, same exercise, whatever. And they trained for, you know, uh, at the same time. At the end of the workout, they obviously took blood samples and biopsies and all that shit. And they found out that the group that did in a longer time on the tension, up to 20 reps uh, to failure, had three times less myostatin than the group who did heavy weight six reps to failure. Three times, not twice, three times. That's a hot, that's a big ass difference. And obviously you guys know the lower the lower your myostatin, the uh, the more muscle you could put on. So that's another study that backs up the you know the whole notion that there is strength training and hypertrophy training are two different things. You know, people, people can always confuse the two. You know, you're lifting in a heavy six to eight rep range, which is my favorite rep range. You're gonna build a lot of strength. But um, if hypertrophy only is your goal, do some high reps, motherfucker. Throw them in there. I'm not saying focus only on high reps, because then you're gonna lose a lot of strength. But find a way to hybridize your training program. Find a way to do high reps and low reps. So obviously Arnold was right, Ronnie Coleman were right, Ben Pakoski, all these guys who are big advocates of time on the tension and high reps and getting a big pump knew what they were talking about before science came by and that's why i always tell you motherfuckers that bro science has its parts and roots in bodybuilding you know arnold knew this shit uh instinctively you know he just knew that uh serge nubre is another guy who used to train was intensely high volume because he figured out that when he decreased the weight and focused on good contractions and high reps and getting the burn his muscle gains were bigger than when he was just only moving heavy weights so hope this study helps a lot of you guys out there who just want to you know uh, focus on building muscle as opposed to strength. Alright guys, uh, I'm going to put the link in the description so you can check it out for yourself. I'm out. Hope these videos help, man. I love learning new things.